Welcome back, everybody. We are going to start a new Let's Play. Uh, this time, we're going to play uh, one of my uh, brother's favorite games. Uh, this is known as East, um, or East Book One, um, part of the East Chronicles uh, that I have on Steam. Um, like I said, this is one of my younger brother's favorite games. Um, he is going to be having a child here soon, so um, doing this to play through uh, is a dedication to him, I guess. Um, so this just changes the way the character models look. I'm going to use the 2001 version. We're going to just play on normal. So this is the uh, intro cinematics. Uh, I'm just going to sit back and let this play out. Light and darkness disturbed in the and chaotic era. This game was originally out on um, Turbo Graphics 16 slash PC Engine. Peace vanished. Ancient each vanished. Sorry. Doing good reading already. This is our hero, Adol. Is, as far as I know, the hero in all the East games, main character in all the East games. Um, I know that as you get closer to the current day East games, uh, it becomes less about a one player game and sort of a multiplayer swap between the different usable characters. All this will be explained uh, when the game, um, when we get past this cutscene. Oh, good you're awake. Don't strain yourself now. Your body is covered in bruises. But you're still hurting. So you're still hurting anywhere? Adol checked himself over. There was n some pain, but nothing del deliberating. Get some rest. You're in a clinic at Barbados 
Barbados port. Hey, Dad, is the stranger awake yet? Oh, smart, you're early. How did the meeting go? Same as always, no real progress. Well, the patient's only just awoken. Glad to see you're back amongst the living. Oh, yes, where's my manners? My name is... Bludo? Dr. Bludo. I own and operate this clinic. My son starved. Solve. Found you collapsed on the beach and brought you here. We drove off the Randall and attacked you. It was a real close call. You know, told Stalf his name and expressed his gratitude. You know, a good name. Don't recognize you though. Where are you from? It explains he journeyed from. Ramalock to Asteria by boat. I warned you came from the over you came from overseas. Amazing, you're the first man I know to pass the storm wall. What do you two think you're doing? Uh oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. I'll chew you up, Stalf. You keep making comments like that. Man's wounded, you know. Shouldn't you leave him be? He needs his rest. My arrow, always keeping us in check. Make a good point, my dear. Yeah, okay, I'll stop talking his ear off. Press stop, Adol. You know, but know this, I'm not done with you yet. Under the clinic's care, Adol recovered quickly. So his HP goes back to 20. I pick up the gold that I had with me, which is a thousand gold. Several days later. I get to move around now. Um, I have it set to automatically run. I hold the B button to walk instead. Good morning, Ador. You seem to be in good tip in tip top shape now. So you should probably take it up. I should probably take it easy for a bit, just in case. Well, suppose a walk around town could do you some good. Just don't overextend yourself. For a boy your age, you must have slept so soundly, you must have quite a story to tell. It all, the portside warehouse has become home base for the town's militia. Staff should be there. He can answer any questions you have. Just be careful not to do too much too soon. Listen, Ado. There are monsters outside town, so don't push your luck, okay? Back to Dr. Bluto. Stop is well on his way to making the town militia a force to be reckoned with. He's always the one to insist on shouldering everyone else's burdens. Real stubborn one, never listens to a single word I say. Reminds me of someone else in this room. Oh, well, I know you're a strapping young lad. And all, but please don't overestimate yourself. I don't want you to get hurt again. Okay, we don't need any of those things. Well, you seem healthy enough to want to be up and about, but still take care of yourself out there, will you? All right, so we're gonna talk to everybody I like that. Sun flare, blows on the hanging line, the sound of rustling grass. Oh now, who might you be? I see, so you're a young man that Dr. Bluto has been looking after. You must have been through a lot. But you're looking very well. That's Bluto for you. A fortune teller who lives in Mina, Mina, to the north, she predicted the storm wall, the monsters, everything. Something you need to know, you should go visit her. She'll answer every question you could possibly have. Once you're filling up to it, that's it. Don't. I don't want you to. <laughs> once you're feeling up to it, that is. I don't want you your wounds to reopen after all. So we're gonna talk to everybody. So counterclockwise. Things are great. 
six months ago, huge trade ships were coming in constantly. Barbados was floor. I could do Barbados every day. Barbado was flourishing. These days, all we do is fish, fish, fish. I yearn for the way things were. Six months ago, monsters started showing up on the North Road. As a result, I haven't seen my friends in near Mina quite some time. I wonder how they're doing these days. These little critters are called pickards. They have been raised as livestock here for generations. Their meat is absolutely delicious, but they're really easy prey for monsters. So we raised them here where nothing can hurt them. The pickards are going to appear in all the other East games as well. And there's a couple side games where we have to go find all the pickards. But I don't think we have to do that in this game. And it's protected by city walls. It's so it's a safer place to be. My son and his wife live in Mina. They keep asking me to go live with them, but they must be joking. This is my home. I could never leave here no matter how what danger. Here to talk to you. Watch out for the blue-haired demons out in the field. Be careless and you'll be dead. You're only human after all. If you're not sure of your chance of survival, then run away. Run like the wind. That's locked up. The beer store. Stunning red hair, you must be Adol. No, Dr. Bluto told me all about you. As you can see, we're in a bit of a break right now. The storm wall is not conductive to tourism after all. Before the storm all appeared, the ball was always packed. I can handle being poor, I just really hate being bored all the time. I've been fishing here for as long as I can remember. Since the storm all appeared, I catch has been constantly bigger than ever. I believe, believe one would call it a mixed blessing. You're the one that's stealth rescued, aren't you? Fine red hair like yours is certainly a rarity here. Watch the surrounding area. We watch the surrounding areas from here. That way if demons try to attack to mount an attack, we can see them coming and get ready for it. Nope, can't go over that. Okay. Talk to everyone else in the village. Even the dog barks at me. You like the seagulls? Nice touch, huh? Buff is working hard to keep the town safe, but in the end, he may just be kidding himself. Rather than live in fear of a monster attack, wouldn't it be better for everyone in Barbados to move to Marnera? Hey, mister, did you come from the mainland? Isn't the storm wall really neato? I hope it stays forever. If it ever goes away, the girl next door will have to leave with her family. Thing? This is the town where I was born and raised. This is my home. I don't even consider leave leaving this place. And my child's safety is paramount. So perhaps Mina, with its city walls, really is the place to be. Daddy's always talked about leaving Hysteria, but why would I leave when I have so many good friends here? One time, Bar Barbo Barbado was swimming in traders like my husband. They all tried to go home and got swallowed up in the storms. I'm just grateful to have a family here with me, though, enough to keep me happy. I came here because I heard food. I could make a tidy profit in a local silver trade. Now I just want to go home. Damn store wall. May, may its storms progeny all suffer uncomfortable bloating. You're also from the mainland. What brings you to Hysteria? Alright, let's talk to this character here. Why, if it isn't Adol. 
You okay to be moving around like that? Every time I stopped by, you were sound asleep. You must have been exhausted. I heard murmuring. If so, heard any murmurings overseas about hysteria? I'd love to know what the people are saying about us. It all told Stalf. He heard the land was cursed. Cursed, mm, not really true, but it's also not too far off. Guess we can count on. We can't count on the support from the outsider. Outside, even if they. If they think we're cursed over here, we've got to take action. Anyways, I don't know a whole lot, but I'm glad to answer any questions I can. Ask away. Barbado is the only port town in Asteria. It used to be a small fishing village until silver was discovered nearby, then it boomed overnight. Since then, the storm all showed up. Ever since the storm all showed up, no ships can get in or out. Our export days are over. Well, now it's just a fishing village again, for the time being anyways. At least everyone's got some money from all the silver trade while it lasted, I guess. There is a small island country. Only a few towns here. Barbado, the wall city of Manura, and the Zipic village in the mountains. Not long ago there was also a town called Raston, but it got wiped out, wiped out by monsters after the mine closed place where I found you is called Whitehorn Beach. Mother of Pearl pieces wash ashore there. Great places, place for a stroll, save for the monsters everywhere. What else? Oh yeah, Dorm Tower, Asteria's claim to fame, sort of. Seems to kiss the clouds, doesn't it? On clear days, you can see all the way from Promaloc. There are other touristy spots, but they've been infested with monsters since the storm all showed up. Damn thing made life really difficult for us. It appeared, let's see, about six months ago or so. Our storm started on the night when some trade ships carrying silver set out for Barbados. Buffered by the storms, the ships were obliterated, washed ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. We first thought it was an isolated incident, but the same fate has met every other ship since. Since that's how the storm all got its start, and now we Asterians pretty much trapped here. Most people have just kind of resigned themselves to their fate. But me, I'm too stubborn for all that. When the storm all appeared, monsters came with it. That's what attacked you the day on, on the beach. We call that particular species Rayball. Monsters first appeared on the road up to the mountains, but they began to attack the villages soon after. Barbado, in particular, was hit pretty badly. Mina seem just as vulnerable, but they've got that wall around them, so they are much more secure. Septic was spared too somehow, supposedly kept the monsters out, but some kind of mystic ball. We have nothing of the sort here, so we take up arms and defend our town ourselves. All right, well, sure, come back sometime. Hmm. Because I didn't talk to everyone, I guess. Let me try talking to everyone again.
worthless as an armory. Adolf explaining he wanted to confirm his trainer's current state with his own eyes. Yeah, I figured I know your type. I doubted I could ever change your mind. You're a wild one, for sure. It takes nothing short of a miracle to make it through the storm wall alive. This is my place. I know that, but it's not yours. You're, no, Destiny... Destiny's got bigger things in mind for you, definitely. Anyways, when you leave here, go north. And just a hop, skip, and jump away from Mina. Mine is Asteria's largest city. Be sure to find some useful information there. Oh yeah, and take this with you. Alright, I got the free shorts short. Their parting gift from all of us. Mil Melissa's can carry... Mil Militants? Militants can carry these. They're small, but they get the job done. I haven't gotten much in the way of armor, but got a good shop for that in Mina. Be sure to stop there whenever you can. Take care. If you come around again, drop in. Alright. So we're gonna go talk to the, um, the doctor. Before we leave. This is a little bit of a different dialogue. And then we'll go from there. That sword. Fair enough. You want to go to see Asteria with your own eyes, do you? You're that determined. I don't plan to stop you. Please be careful. First the storm world and the monsters. What's next? The plague of locusts? But you're still with us. Seems like hand of fate is guiding you. Fools rush in though. Best Chavez townsfolk might learn something valuable. Going to Mina? Well just be careful not to get yourself hurt again. Alright, so we're gonna leave here. Gonna head up to Mina. First things first, we are going to equip sword. If you don't do that, sword doesn't get equipped and you can see I had a sword in my hand now. Yay! Then we're going to save. Because unlike in other games where it automatically saves, this one does not. So this introduces a what they call the bump system. It all attacks enemies by running into them. Sword swings automatically without pressing any keys or buttons. Thus, if his attack is determined by his directory and or angle of impact, a head-on strike will cause Adel to take damage. But if the enemy is off-center from an odd or from an odd angle, the attack is proved successful. It needs to be constructed from behind and the side with little risk of resistance, though. Technically, the backfire of Idol is pitted against an enemy with a large amount of health, and so it quickly turns to face its attacker. So basically, this is the side that I have my sword on. I want to basically line them up with this side. Oop, didn't take any damage. And he's dead. See, but I took damage that time because it was a straight on attack. I believe I have the XP meter down the bottom to indicate how much more XP is needed. Yeah. And if I just stand still out on the world map, my HP comes back. Isn't that cool? If I get bumped back, you know that I've made a mistake. Alright, so 
so we're not going to grind out too much here. I'm going to head along our path. So the entrance to this town, Mina, uh, is up here. Um, if I try to go further north, someone will yell at me, so I'm just going to enter the town here. And this is one of my favorite musics in this game. I saw Pim ring, picked a bell, picked a ring off the ground the other day. Right after that, he went straight to the store and put it on the shelf. What kind of low life would just sell something he finds like that? Great question. Before the monsters showed up, we used to always play under the huge tree in the plains. Now we can't do that anymore. Grown-ups won't let us go outside the city walls anymore. Mister, are you a swordsman? Well, the fortune teller lady's been looking for a traveling swordsman. Please go and see her. In time. First, we're gonna go into this here bar. Welcome. Oh my, stranger. Don't worry, traveler. The city of Mina is safe haven for monsters. You have nothing to worry about here. Speak with whom? The bartender. Oh, no fresh. Whence did you come from, sir? Hard on you, say? Ah, you're the lad who crossed the storm wall then. I heard about you from members of the Bardosh mil militia when they came here on their rounds. Sorry if that sounded a bit suspicious when I asked where you were from. Lately, there have been a lot of break ins, so I thought maybe you were cast in my establishment. My name's Garbic. I've been hired by the city to track down those dirty thieves. Yeah. Ain't learned much about the crooks. Did I find out that lo- But I did find out that long ago there were rota trees in Hysteria. Never heard of a rota tree before. Its seed is said to be one of the finest delicacies in the world. Love to taste one just once before I die. Don't suppose you've come across any, have you? Would you hear a humble patron of his fine- of this wa fine watering hole? Somewhere in this general area, I lost a beautiful sapphire ring I purchased as a gift from my wife. Without it, I feel I can't face her. Damn both thieves. I wager this is their doing. Okay, let's talk to everybody else. We visit the fortune teller's house. I have not. She may be young, but she's good. If you're ever in need of advice or guidance, you can always set you on the right path. So basically, if you get lost, I'm Mysterious Foremost Store Guide. Or at least I used to be that blam store blasted storm wall and all the monsters have driven me right out of business once an odd old man who wanted to tour the mountain ruins was before the storm wall seems to be a scholar and he planned to investigate Darm tower i hope he's okay he used to work in the silver mines but six months ago the tunnels were overrun with monsters all because of those damn doom dimple dimped dumb monsters that i got a, i got i got nothing to do but drink up and out. Glug, glug, glug. Ah, uh, man, that's good stuff. You know the harmonica the Poe girl hangs around the ramparts? She's real purdy, and that song of hers is real purdy. It's mesmerizing. Heard it in a while, though. Not long ago, I saw a strange stranger in town wearing a black cape with a real particular pale blue glow to it. Yeah, I was just seeing things, I don't know. Still gave me the shivers either way. Big Brother was a miner, but he got attacked by a monster in one of the tunnels and barely made it out alive. I tried to fight back using a pickaxe, but it didn't work too well. Yes, yeah, I please, there's a patient to be seen. Oh me, I'm Dr. Claus. Where you going? Oh, he's leaving for some reason. Oh, I'm Rhea, a poet and troubadour. My priceless silver harmonica has been stolen. I don't know what to do. Value it is near as much as my own life. Uh, 
Alright, I don't think this is anything. I think this is just sort of window dressing. Yep, window dressing. For right now, anyways. Also gives me a shot of this tower, which I think is pretty nifty. Go in here. Lisa! Hello, how may I help you? Talk to Nurse Lisa. Been quite busy in here ever since the monsters started showing up. People are always getting hurt. Dark Klaus wanted to make a house call at Zepic Village since they have no medical facility or staff there. Dark Klaus is so busy, I rarely see him around the clinic these days. Although Klaus and Bruto are the only doctors in all Asteria, so really I shouldn't be surprised. Erk, I think I saw someone in the bed. Talk to you. Wild dog out there in the field called Ray Bulls. They're extremely fast, so take heat around them. Around by a whole herd of them. This is how I came in this state. And just slip away and run to a big tree in the field. For some reason, the Ray Bulls turn back at that point. As a result, I'm still alive and too much, and not too much worse for the wear. But I do wonder if it was that that drove them away. Um, save me. This is no puppy, it's a ray ball. Where did I get, where did I get hurt, you ask? In my own home, that's where I was attacked. It hit me from behind so I didn't see his face, but I bet anything was one of those damn thieves. Well, the silver shield that's been in my family for countless generations. Tucked it away in the corner of the old storeroom, probably wasn't worth much but even so, it's the idea. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee